Okay, learners, welcome back to the second video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the customers opening balances as well as the inventory opening balances. In this paper, the general ledger accounts, even though the amounts were given, it is not required for us to do. And the suppliers' balances are here, but we do not have to do it. We are only required to do the customer's opening balances and the inventory opening balances. So we need to first look at the customer's opening balances before we can actually go and do anything with regards to it. And we need to see. So looking at this, we can see that our customer's opening balance has a current amount of 1198. 30 days for 3,499 rand and 60 days at 3,798 rand and 4 cents. What exactly does this mean? Now, let's go back to the financial year of the business. The financial year runs from the 1st of March 2021 until the 28th of February 2022. Now, we are requested to complete the transactions for May of 2021 as shown here. Now, if we have to complete the transactions for May of 2021, it would mean that this current balance would be the balance as at the 30th of April 2021, right? And the 30 days would be the balance at the 31st of March 2021. And the 60 days balance will be the balance as at 28th of February 2021. If you didn't catch me there, you can just go back and rewind and look at that again. But I'm going to explain it a little bit more in a few seconds. So let's look at this again. Our financial year runs from the 1st of March 2021 to 28th of February 2022. Now, looking at these balances, current, we said, is 30th of April, 30 days is 31st of March, and 60 days is the 28th of April. Our financial year only starts from March and ends next year, February, which means this 60 days balance that's here, this amount of 3,798.04 cents falls under the last financial period, which means it's not for the current financial period. I know this sounds very confusing, but there's a specific way to do this. So your current amount will be period number two of this year. Your 30 days will be period number one of this year. And your 60 days is going to be period 12 of last year. Let us process this and it will give you a slightly better understanding. In order to process customers opening balances, we have to say process, journals, here we need to click on customer and we need to click on customers journal before we start processing we need to ensure our settings are correct now when we are doing opening balances our contract account can be fixed and set to opening balance suspense account it's right at the bottom and the last account we are starting the processing with this year's transaction so we leave it ticked we do not need tax processing for this, so we can simply untick it. And then we can click on close. Let me just close up the column so you can see the whole screen at once. Right, let's go back and look at our exact requirements. Use the information at points 1.1.4 and 1.1.5 to process the opening balances of the customer's account and stock items on 30th of April 2021 in the relevant journals. Right? Then we need to use the age analysis to process the balance for all periods of the customer. The current balance is on 30th of April, which is period number two. More than one journal must be used to process the opening balance of all periods. Use OPBAL5 as reference and do not increment the reference. Use balance as description. So we've got that bit of information so we can start processing. So we are starting with period number two. You press enter, press enter, and we choose the account. 
This is the only customer that we have, Rashmi Naidu, and we press enter. The reference was OPBAL05, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check again. OPBAL5 is your reference. Let us change that to a 5. Your description is opening balances, or is it just balances? Your description is use, it says it here, use balance as the description. So it's just simply balance. Now, you have a debit column and you have a credit column. If you relate this to accounting, in accounting, a customer is a debtor, which is a debit balance, and a supplier is a creditor, which is a credit balance. So in this case, we are going to use the debit balance for period number two, which is an amount. Let's go back to our amounts. Period number two was 1,198 rands. So we say 119 until we go to the next Next line. And remember the next item was period number one. Press enter to choose the customer once and again. We do not need to change the reference because they said do not increment it. The description will remain the same. And the next amount is going to be 3,499 rand, as that's the opening balance for period number one. 3,499 rand. Make sure you go to a new line before attempting to print this item or even updating it. Now, we have exhausted the amount of inputs that we can process for this year because the amount for period 12 of last year cannot go in this journal. We need to first print this journal, update this journal, and do period 12 of last year on a new journal. So, basically, this is what we're going to do. We're going to click on print. We always say print with contrast. And then you will print to your particular printer. I'm just doing this to show you what the printout will look like. And basically, that is what your printout is going to look like when you open it. It will have all of your details there, and that's how it's going to be marked. But this is only one half of it. We still need to do for period 12 of the previous year. And how do we do that? We've printed this item out. But now that we've printed it, you'll see that we cannot simply go and change the period. We have to first update this journal. When you say update this journal batch, and you say update. Now that we have, well, we can say a clean or a new journal. We click on settings once again. And now we untick this year's transactions. And now the period that we're going to do this is period number 12, which is period number 12 of the last financial year. And as you can see, the date will tally up. Press enter. One and again, the same account. The description is going to be balance. It is a debit balance. And the amount that we're going to have here is 3,798 rands and 04 cents. Once again, press enter to go to the next line. You say print with contrast. Once again, I'm only saving it just to show you what it looks like when it's printed and this is what the rest of it would look like once you have it printed you can update it now I need to stress to you that you need to ensure that you have these items printed before you even go anywhere near the update button if you do not have it in front of you once you update it you will not be able to print this entry type journal again it is now gone as you may say so ensure that you have the printout in front of you because that printout may carry marks in a test or an exam, but also ensure that you have it because once you update it, you cannot print it again. Now that that is done, I'm going to show you very quickly how to access the customer's age analysis. So looking at the customer's age analysis, we need to click on view. 
customers as we're dealing with customers monthly periodic and then we need to say age analysis ensure that you choose the customer which is c001 rashmi naidu we are working with this year so choose this year <clears throat> the period for monthly customers that you're going to choose here i generally choose the period that we first started working with which was period two of this year the balance range is the debit only because we filled in debit side and these ticks and unticks will be different pa question paper specific so each question paper will be different and it'll tell you what to print or not to print once that is done you can say okay and this is what your customer's age analysis will look like as you can see your current balance your 30 days balance your 60 days balance and your grand total of 8495 rand 04 cents which i didn't mention before will be exactly the same as the total on the question paper you can look at this to ensure that you've done your work correctly and this should assist you all right that's it for the opening balances of customers uh, in the next video i'm going to very quickly do the opening balances of inventory all right uh, look out for the next